the great tech industry demographic survey of 2025 is halfway over. We started this a week ago. We got about five days or so left and already thousands and thousands and thousands of you have submitted your poll answers and we have a huge amount of crazy crazy good data already in place now for those of you who have not seen this yet here's the basic idea a massive massive poll it takes about 10 minutes to go through and answer all the questions they're just multiple choice or or checkbox questions very very simple absolutely anonymous there is no data on you collected you can you can fill out the whole thing in an incognito window routed through the onion network routed through a vpn i mean it's it, totally totally anonymous we compile compile all that data together in one of the most massive spreadsheets ever. Uh, this is already huge. I did a test export of this particular survey uh, last night, and it was massive. I mean, just thousands and thousands of rows with huge numbers of columns, tons of data, and the amount of stuff that we're going to be able to glean from all of this is just off the charts. Uh, questions are all over the map. Some of them are very political questions, questions about your opinions on things like codes of conduct or whether or not the tech industry or the open source world is left leaning or right leaning, uh, what your thoughts are on DEI, right? really politically charged topics. But we also get into things like, what web browser do you like? <laughs> do you like tabs or spaces? Do you personally contribute to open source projects and a huge number of other things? We talk about your age and what, what operating systems you like using and whether or not you're pessimistic or optimistic about the tech industry. I mean, it's there's a lot of data here. And what's great about the wide ranging number of questions is we can com begin to put together correlations that no one's really studied before. For example, it can be really simple things, but if you like tabs over spaces, are you more or less likely to want to censor people on social media? I mean, it's a weird correlation, right? What is the answer, though? I don't know the answer, and there's so many things. Uh, it, whether you like tabs or spaces or not, does that indicate whether or not you contribute to open source projects? Um, I know I'm using the tabs and spaces as an example, but it's right in front of me on the screen, so I keep thinking about it. But there's just so many different possibilities here. Do your political affiliations, like whether you're left-leaning or right-leaning politically, does that impact what web browser you use? What operating system you use? How you feel about the operating system used? Is is there any relationship there? And so we we're gonna we're gonna look at all of that sort of thing. It goes until Friday. What you're gonna want to do is go to lunduke.com and about in the middle of that page, there's a link. Take the Great Tech Industry Demographic Survey of 2025. There's a link right there. Click it. Again, it's totally anonymous. No one has your data. I don't have your email address. Uh, I'm not going to give your personal data to anyone else because I don't have your personal data and I don't want your personal data. This is just to pull together the information. If once you've taken it, tell people about it. Send them this little video clip. Send them a direct link to the survey and say, go take this survey. No matter what their political affiliation or their views on open source or what operating systems they use, it doesn't matter. The more people in the tech industry or adjacent to the tech industries, like uh, people who are just computer nerds, right? The more people that take this, the better, the more data we have. And we're already on track to have well over 10,000 uh, submissions by Friday, which means that the amount of data we're getting here is going to be far more comprehensive than almost any political polling and survey done during the last series of the last presidential election. Most of those uh, polls, like, are you going to vote for this person or that person, have hundreds or low thousands of total respondents. Not us. We're going for broke. We're just going crazy, huge amounts of data. This will be already the most comprehensive and wide ranging survey of people within the technology industry that has ever been conducted bar none without without even a close second and so this is this is actually pretty important when all is said and done 
I'm going to be analyzing everything. Again, it's going to be in the world's largest spreadsheet. I'm going to put out a series of shows and articles and infographics and whatnot based on my analysis. And then I'm going to be providing that data, that spreadsheet to others to do their own analysis on it. Because again, the data is all anonymous, no, no personally identifying information. And I want to see what sort of data other people can glean from this massive, massive survey. So lunduke.com, Take the survey if you haven't already. If you've already taken it, post it on social media. Send it to your friends. Distribute it in, inside your company, right? Once again, this doesn't have to be a... A uh, political thing or a I like open source versus closed source thing, whatever. It doesn't matter. Send it to people who, are, who should take this survey, computer users, IT industry professionals, and let's see what data we can pull together. Um, I also want to say, uh, while, while I have your attention, you may notice if you go to lunduke.com that there is an absolutely massive number of ways that you can watch and listen to and interact with the Lunduke Journal nowadays. It's really just exploded. It's it's kind of fantastic. Lunduke.com it has a, a set of links of where to watch, where to listen, to all the Lunduke Journal stuff. And it's everything from locals to X to Rumble to Spotify to the, the RSS podcast feed, which is hugely popular, to YouTube and everything. Same exact show say like for example i just did a show on uh, a bunch of extremists who who left the linux kernel after demanding that other people be banned from the linux kernel that same show with me making the same goofy face and actually wearing the same shirt i'm wearing right now uh, was posted all over the place right all over the place and some of the places that i post these to uh, I, you know, don't really have a whole lot of Lunduke Journal listeners and viewers that hang out on them. Like if you go to Facebook, it's just there. Uh, but why not? I publish it there. Others are massive, like X and YouTube and Locals and the, the podcast feed. Uh, and it's, it's crazy. So wherever you want to get the show, popular or not, you can. Same show, same places, all over the map, which makes it really nice in case the Lunduke Journal ever gets censored, right? No, no, no one platform can take the Lunduke Journal offline. It's just, it's just fantastic. So choose wherever you want to watch it. Uh, I should also point out, uh, just uh, as a reminder, that through the end of February, it's February 17th right now, uh, regular subscriptions are half off, uh, half off DRM free MP4 downloads of the shows and lifetime subscriptions are available at a discount. Uh, again, if you go to lunduke.com, it's got a, a link for February, 50% off subscriptions, blah, 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 blah. It's all sitting right there. You can click on that link and get all of the details. It's, it's, it's great. The Lunduke Journal is doing so well because every, all of you have been subscribing and, and sharing the work that the Lunduke Journal is doing. I, I kind of just wanted to pass that along to you guys. So I'm just making everything cheaper all month. I'm not really making this some sort of, you know, I'm going to club a baby seal to get a better deal. You know, come on down to Crazy Ernie's sort of sale thing. It's just everything's cheaper. Uh, enjoy it uh, if you want to subscribe. And thank you to everyone who does. Also, so much stuff going on. Uh, if you go to lunduke.com, you'll notice uh, a couple of links have appeared here recently that weren't there before. Uh, including a places where to hang out, uh, including a forum and a Telnet accessible BBS. Yeah, <laughs> the Lunduke Journal has an official forum at forum.lunduke.com now. This is only for subscribers, right? So only for people who are paid subscribers, um, which is a lot of you, an ever-growing number. Uh, thank you. You keep the lights on. And again, it's cheaper right now. Uh, you can go, go to forum.lunduke.com and right at the top, if you're a subscriber via Locals, Substack, or Patreon, you can go ahead and just click one of those links and it will tell you how to get an account at the Lunduke Journal Forum. It's great. Almost everything at the Lunduke Journal Forum is behind closed doors, right? It's it's not a public facing forum. So it's just a bunch of nerds hanging out, chatting, and uh and there's no trolls. Because there's because you have to be a subscriber. That's it's just like-minded nerds hanging out. So there's absolutely no trolls. It's like it's like the best place to hang out on the internet. And, and of course the BBS is just open for everyone to go and play games. Again, lunduke.com. A lot, a lot of ways to subscribe. 
A lot of discounts going on all month long through February. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Grab the lifetime subscriptions. They're great because not having a monthly or yearly recurring subscription is just kind of handy sometimes. That way, when you, you have your subscription to, I don't know, Netflix or whatever, you don't have to think, oh, well, I also have a subscription every month to the Lundu Journal, even if it's just a couple bucks. You can just do it once, one lifetime subscription, and you just have access to everything forever it's just it's a nice way to go again lunduke.com thank you everybody uh and once again though first and foremost take that survey if you haven't already it is massive i would like it if that spreadsheet was so insane that it made excel or LibreOffice or whatever we use at the moment to do our analysis of it i want it to just choke i want it to start loading that spreadsheet and it to go oh dear god and just and just wish it had never been born i want the spreadsheet software to beg for its dear life there's so much data in it so go click the links take Take the survey, spread it around, hand it to everyone, and let's get more data in there because it's just phenomenal already. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes, all across the inner tubes, I do declare, end broadcast.